What's going on YouTube? This is Dark Light Dreamer coming at you with another Let's Play. And today we got something really exciting for uh, you today. Mythos? Uh What are you doing? Nothing. Are you are you stealing my channel? Uh, are you recording a video I don't right know now? What you're talking about imposter? Just, just, just some I get What's going on YouTube? This is Dark Light Dreamer coming at you with another Let's Play. And today I'm here with a very special guest. You guys all know and love him. What is up, beautiful people? It's Wolf Brother Mythos, Christian I from the channel. Frost and Fist. If you guys have not checked out the channel Frost and Fist and you're interested in the war game and hobby, please do me a favor and check that out. This is a really awesome guy and his partner Freak's really awesome too. But today we're not here to talk about war gaming on a table. We're here to talk about war gaming in a space adventure known as Farpoint VR PSVR. Guys, I am so stoked for this game because I've been waiting for a shooter. This is really the next innovative level of four shooters coming out. And ever since we first played the game Rush for Blood in VR... Yeah, until dawn, guys. Um, you know, that was just using the pistols in that. I'm like, man, I can't wait for the first proper shooter to come out with this. And it finally has. And I definitely had Wolf of the Mythos in mind when I got this game. He is so into action shooters, and I just thought he would love this game. This guy is so awesome. Picking up the game with me in mind, he got me into VR, letting me use his tech, his materials, and his games. Guys, I really love watching Wolf Brother Mythos play VR games. We don't have to get him on the channel more playing VR games because he reacts so hard. But I actually, I decided that today, instead of me playing Farpoint VR, I'm going to have Wolf Brother Mythos play Farpoint VR for the very first time. I haven't even played this game yet. Shooting games are my jam. And I just want to give quick props where it's due. Uh, you know, Darklight here says that shooting games aren't really his thing, but back home when we were a bit younger, um, Time Crisis and Virtual Cop, we actually have, uh, as a team, uh, it was an area master title for earning for top uh, Time Crisis scores. Mm -hmm. I think it was Time Crisis 2 that you could do to play. Oh yeah, yeah, it was Time Crisis 2. Yeah. And we played that like religiously all the time, like uh, every week. Our names were on the wall for that game, and then... Uh, Marvel vs. Capcom. That's a real throwback to the 90s, because I think that was, like, the last time we really, like, cared that, like, our names were, like, at the top of the scoreboard, trying to make sure that nobody took our spot. <laughs> Putting in quarter after quarter, making sure nobody takes that top spot. So we went ahead and opened up the box for you, since we don't really have the setup to open it on camera, but comes with the the game, and also came with this awesome, this awesome gun controller. I mean, you can, you can think of it a couple ways. It looks very sleek. It also looks like it could be just be made of PVC pipe. But it is definitely a huge step up from the Zapper, right? Absolutely. We got thumb controls here. We've got D-pad controls. Start, select. And back here we even have buttons for uh, square, X, triangle, and circle. Tell, tell the camera how it feels in your hands. It is very smooth and sleek. It's got a nice texture to it. Ah, ah. This gun, though. Oh man, this is the first time, guys, I'm actually holding this in my hand. YouTube, YouTube, it feels legit. It feels awesome. Well, anyways, so we're gonna go. We're not gonna talk too much. We're gonna jump right into the gameplay. You excited? I am stoked, dude. Awesome. Let's get right into it, guys. Hello, planet Earth. I'm Eva Tyson, one of the 230 scientists and engineers stationed up here on the Pilgrim. Regular viewers of this so it's interesting how this starting off all selfie style. Traditional so it's like a, a video within a video here on YouTube. And that is because today I am video within a game within a video. And joining me on that homeward flight is one of my colleagues, Dr. Grant Moon. Hi. So we have a scientist in space here named Dr. Moon. Been aboard the program for three months. A little bit on the nose, don't you think? A little bit, a little bit. Anomaly. This is actually the first time that Dr. Tyson and I have met. So, hello, Dr. Tyson. Oh, hello, Dr. Moon. <laughs> you know, it's funny because this seems like some actual kind of commentary. I'm a specialist in <laughs> You know, the, the slightly cheesy uh, commentary you might actually hear between, you know, scientists that you see on TV. You know, as video makers, I could see a conversation like this happen. Yeah, definitely. definitely. Thermodynamic temperature scales. It includes aspects of astronomy and cosmology as well. Aside from the, the science talk, it actually seems like a pretty natural conversation. Star expert. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, using that would save a lot of space on my resume. <laughs> it really would. <laughs> she just sounds like, I'm tired of hearing you talk about yourself. To analyze a very special wave of radiation. We're all here just for that. Now, the universe is full of solar radiation, 
But what makes this radiation so special is that it has no discernible source. Masses of energy. Special radiation. There's nothing that could go wrong with that. So you can see why right? we're all so fascinated by it. You be fine. This energy forever. Now, Nerds! Look out the window. <laughs> you should be able to see the shuttle that's coming to pick us up. The Wanderer. Named after the poem. The Wanderer returns. And if we link to the pilot's POV camera, you'll get a good view of the entire station. As Are we supposed to know that poem? Like, I, I was just wondering and that. if we're lucky, we should just be able to see the Now, they said they're going to go to a POV to. cam, so are we the Wanderer? We go. I mean, you know, are we going to be in that ship? Because usually a POV is kind of that person's, you know... I mean, it stands for point of view, of course, but... That's usually like the perfect set. Oh yeah. Oh wow, what just happened there? Oh yeah, so this must be the POV cam. So we are must be the pilot's point of view. Oh, that's cool. I love the way that it receded like that. We're ready for you in the airlock. Please I can't help but notice we're driving from the right side. This feels awkward. Roger that, Pilgrim. This is Wander. Like, you know, the way our engaged. UK drives on the right side. It's a European it's ship, don't judge. It's a European ship. Hey, isn't the Wanderer also the main character in uh, Fallout uh, Vegas? So, yeah, I think, yeah, well, Holy no. Holy crap. Are you seeing this on the screen, dude? Like, oh, yeah, dude. I can look back and legit see, like, an Roger entire that, Pilgrim, waiting on you. back there. Like, you can... the camera does not stop with what's ahead of me. It looks like you could legit walk around that ship. And these controls feel so real, I feel like I could reach out and touch. Of course I can't, but... I feel like I could reach out and touch these controls. Reboot. I wish that I were looking at this in the same way that you are right now. I've got tiny legs, but I can see my tiny legs. Command, any different on your end? I was actually shown recently how proportions are actually kind of weird in VR in order to make it appear normal from a first person point of view. No, no, it's not a big deal. No. It doesn't appear that my controls do anything just yet. Probably. Because, you know, we're we're in a cutscene or something. Well, your controller is a gun, so maybe they're going to give you a gun in a minute and they don't want you just shooting random stuff. It's a simple walk. If we wait to schedule an engineer, we'll be stranded here in a... So are they just going to... Are just... They're just flying into that weird radiation hole in space? Well, they're they're staying outside of it and trying to observe it from what the storyline is saying. That seems safe. Well, there are people I want to get home to. So it sounds like they're having trouble with some kind of patch, and they're going to go out and fix it instead of waiting on maintenance. So that way they can, you know, take the shortcut to get on the ship. Just couldn't have waited for maintenance, could they? Nope. That, that sounds like... Some, some stuff is about to happen, right? I apologize for that crashing sound. I think something took so. Guys, okay, first Roger, of all, this position. is gorgeous. Being here in space in 3D. Okay. I want to play this, guys. I'm opening the outer hatch. Tethers are attached. This looks like a warp rift from Warhammer. Or how I would imagine, anyways. <laughs> it probably does look something like that. Just so chaos right? flowing out of it. Uh, Seriously, and we're studying it. We, we're studying yeah. chaos. That's how Event Horizon started. Do you oh, see? look at that. Look at the screen. God. It is like putting them in a perfect bullseye. You know some stuff's gonna happen. 60 yards out. It'll be, it'll be fine. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. oh, this is no good. Can I get him out of there? Can I pilot the ship? Can, can I go save those guys? <laughs> Just look around the cockpit like, uh, I'm not trained to do any of the things right now. Okay, none of the buttons are doing anything. I want to save those guys. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're seeing oh. it. <laughs> okay, that looks like the spirit bomb from Dragon Ball Z. Okay, let's move. Is this what Frieza feels like? Oh my god. That's okay, seriously. That's gorgeous and terrifying at the same time. Yeah? <laughs> she just looks at the controls like, uh, uh, I'm sorry? <laughs> wow, guys, that looks like it sucks. I'm I, I, I'm trying not to leave you. I don't think there's anything I can control right now. I've got a gun. Oh, those poor guys just got burnt. Oh, 
That kind of sucks. She said she has she had a somebody to go home to. This looks kind of Star Warsy. Hit that warp speed. You know, kind of also reminds me of Doctor Who. Yeah, that's that's true. That's true. Maybe it's fine. We just we went through the TARDIS, and now we're gonna go change the top timeline somewhere. It's fine. Yeah, that's what it's about. An awesome adventure together. Oh. Oh. Oh, cool. This, are, this is how I imagine one of the ODST shuttles look like in uh, Halo. How does that feel, being in the thing while it's, while it's falling? So, that, that was kind of a cool intro, guys. Cass. Location report. Oh, hey. No. Here's that cool gun. We're alive! This gun. I feel like... I really feel like I'm in the closed and listen. I can't touch anything. But it really does a really good job of making me feel like I am in tight places. A, a little bit claustrophobic, you'd say? A little bit. But there's this cool gun down. Uh, unknown elements? That's... I could uh -huh. potentially be not get... Look at this thing! Oh, awesome. Oh, cool. I love how in VR games you can really look at the gun in detail. Okay, so this is where that, you guys can see here, there's a, on the screen, there's a built-in thumb uh, stick. And that's going to let us walk around, not just point the gun. It's cool, so whatever direction I move the thumb stick in. Alright, so I'm strafing left, strafing right, like I am legit controlling this. Pilgrim, this is one. So, in back. VR games I've played so far, I say again, like they kind of guided you on the course, and you just kind of shot at whatever was around. Does it make you feel sick at all? Uh, you know, moving without me moving, it, it is, there's a slight motion, kind of, you know, motion, I don't feel motion sick, but like, there's that sense like I should be moving, you know? Yeah, yeah, they, there's a word for it, I'm not really sure what they call that. But I feel like if I were someone prone to getting motion sick easily, yeah, I definitely, that would happen right there. I, I think Oversoul refers to that as like the opposite of motion sickness. I know there's, they haven't shown us any enemies yet, but I feel like anything can jump out. Guys, when you're in 3D, like, it really feels like there could be something behind every rock. So, for one person, the parachute didn't deploy, and for the other one, it deployed it at the wrong time. That's awesome. Well, we need to find whoever oh cut those shoots and your fire them. <laughs> totally was not me. They're gonna get a firm write up oh when I get back. Oh, I think she was a little late on the ball. Oh, she wasn't quite on the ball getting that second shootout. Okay, so this windstorm is really affecting my movement. It's giving me kind of a a sense like I'm having to push through the wind because even though I'm pushing to go in a certain direction, it's kind of like guiding me off course of, uh, unless I, you know, press more to the left than I should need to. So it's kind of giving me, I don't know, it's kind of a, it's adding to the realism kind of feel that I'm pushing through this heavily wounded place. Uh, that emerged, oh shit! Thing. I'm not going to go over there. What was that? Is that just a piece of exploding shovel? Uh, let's hope so. Oh, yeah, it's just a piece of shuttle. Oh, cool, 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 cool. <laughs> That's kind of, you know, that kind of adds to the thrill of being in 3D. It's just, you never know what's around. We're on an alien planet, guys. We don't know what is inhabiting this planet. It could, <laughs> I mean, obviously, aliens. I mean, I'm not saying it's aliens. Hollow sight, okay. Assault rifle is the standard issue rifle for UEP personnel. Unlimited ammo. Uh, that's nice. Heat gauge must be their way of controlling your rounds, you know, like a, a clip or something. Yeah. But since they have unlimited ammo, it's a good explanation. Dr. Moon, Dr. You know, Tyson, this is Wanderer. He copy. Oh, seriously, do you think they just hired him because his name was Dr. Moon? <laughs> like, it was on his application, and they were just like, yep, you're hired. Oh man, it, it, it looks like the graphics are great to me, just looking at this on a 2D screen, man. It's just, the rocks being in a cave, how does, how does it look? 
I mean, it is definitely giving me that feel of like a tightly confined place here. Well, I can't wait to play this. Go. Guys, look at this gorgeous terrain here. Although I feel like I'm going to have some Jawas or sand people up on those ridges right there jumping out at me in a second. It's going to be the first enemy in this game, Jawas. <laughs> so it looks to me like anytime there's like a glowing blue thingy, that's the way you need to go. It's like it uses the color as a guide. You know, and I kind of found myself going in that direction, and it just seems like, I don't know, big blue glowy thing seems like a pretty clear come here kind of thing. It wants you to go on top of the uh, the mountain billowing smoke like a volcano, because that okay. looks safe. That looks like an ambush point over there. Even though that looks like the clear path, I'm going to see if I can cut around these rocks, because I do not wish to be ambushed. By Jawas. By Jawas. Okay, it's, wait. Is it? it? No, it's not going to Oh, well, there's really a whole lot of nothing around on this planet. It's dusty. It's pretty desolate. It, it's just rocks and sand. I mean, I, I think of all the planets you could have crash landed on, this is probably, like, one of the most boring. Is this Pandora? Like, is, is this Borderlands type stuff right here? No, no. Pandora would be much more interesting. To assist holographic file recovery, please look well, at like, That looks like a parachute over there. Oh. Oh, that's Press cool. Cool 3 holographic area. rendering. All right, it says here I can use the my top uh, left button here to do some kind of scan. The highlighted button to scan the area. That's really cool. So this is like a memory of some sort. Like some stuff happened here or something. To scan. It's like I thought I scanned the things. Maybe you just need to be, yeah, no. need to be right up on Eva. it. It seems. Eva. Eva. I didn't know you at all, Eva. Okay, so we still have AEDs in the future. Okay? Interesting. Like Very futuristic looking ones. Brought you back. But he didn't rub them together and say clear. And that goes against everything I know in movies. Okay, so it looks like they're both alive for now. They're alive. That's Lucky. pretty cool. I don't even know what I just... Dr. Moon, Dr. Tyson, if you can hear this, stay happen. where you are. I'll find you. I get that we have some kind of like awesome technology that let us scan something to show what happened in the past, but what did we scan? What I, I'm not us really the past? sure. Is it's it, like the computer was just like, "Yeah, I know something's up on the spot. We're gonna we're gonna take a look at it." By scanning the invisible time travel particles, we can show you what happened in the past. <laughs> I'm sure there's some Doctor Who science going on there. Just pull out my sonic screwdriver and scan this area. We still have yet to see any enemies in this vast, desolate desert. I'm really interested to, to know what my first enemy is. And it's, you know, it's really I, building up the tension. Like, it gave you a gun, so you're really expecting to fight something, then for like ten minutes you don't fight anything. Do you see a huge... Hello? Is someone sure. there? Sup? I guess nobody's there. I guess not. I can't help but think this looks like the bones of some giant beast here. Even though, I mean, it's clearly made of rock, but maybe it wasn't. Oh, it looks like bones, bro. That looks like some fossils right there. I don't know why I didn't want to say shit. Like, I've never... Oh, that bursts. That bursts like spores. That doesn't look good. Ugh. It's got some fungus on this planet. It is made of, like, 60-something hey, percent... Hey, there's some moving up ahead. Something rocks. I'm... Maybe it's people that want to help you. Sand people, maybe. <laughs> I mean, I'm, that's you. We land on a hot, on an alien planet, not knowing whether it's hostile or not. You just you can just assume that people want to help you. What is? Oh wait, I, I hope that's not what I. Oh no! Why did it have to be spiders? <laughs> the first enemy. Oh shit! You're the cute. Oh my god! The first <clears throat> enemy they make you fight are spiders. <clears throat> oh really? Oh like, for Jesus! Real, for real? <laughs> okay, guys. You know, I'm all for being a space marine, and I'm a proud and dedicated space wolf. But what? Why spiders? Jesus. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know, but... Oh, Jesus! Wolf Brother Mythos is, is not a fan of spiders. As you see from the frantic shooting. <laughs> watch, watch, he's gonna be the, like a professional, like a what? marine, the moment he comes across like a, a humanoid-type enemy. What's funny is I know how to shoot. 
had freaking bullseye marksmanship since I was uh, in military school way, way uh, long ago as a kid, but for some reason spiders just freaked me the hell out. Everybody's why, why did that jump over my shoulder? Just wanted to freak you out. Everybody's a pro until you got a spider coming at your face. <laughs> it is hard to be calm when these things are airborne at you. <laughs> and and now that you've dealt with all those spiders, now you go into a cave that probably has way more spiders in it. Cass, log this. Log this shit. <laughs> for real, though. <laughs> for real, for real. Not for play, play. People need to know about this shit. There are spiders on that planet, man. This place is incredible. Incre it's incredible, they say. Did they not see the spiders outside? <laughs> I was about to say, you guys didn't have anything trying to eat your face? Watch your suit on those rocks. I don't know what kind of path into the fighting post here. We can't afford a breach. Yeah, um, maybe, maybe the suit would be a good idea. We did see the fungus to seize. So it looks like they're not they're not shaken at all. So they must not have had to have dealt with spiders outside. And they just left them alone. They didn't look tasty or whatever. And maybe maybe the spiders were just offended that you had a gun pulled out. Maybe they were just all having a, they were just having a chill time and those scientists were going around scanning stuff and you had a gun. They did not appreciate your hostility. Mm -hmm. Y'all sit back there. And I'm guessing those are the babies. I wonder if we're going to have to fight nope, with them. Nope, these are the adults. <laughs> There's not going to be anything bigger than these guys. Okay, already we got tarantulas the size of dinner plates. We don't need nothing bigger. <laughs> if I don't believe in them, they won't exist. He's like, they should have titled this game Spider Planet. <laughs> it would have given us a better idea as to whether we should buy this game or not. And, and you got to love that they just pop out of the sand. So they could literally be anywhere. Ah! <laughs> I'm fine. Brave warrior, guys. <laughs> Y'all give me orcs, give me peoples. I will fight to my last okay. breath. <laughs> so yeah, hell, a xenomorph would be better than this shit. I, you, I will fight a xenomorph. Okay? Give me the alien queen. I just don't want no spiders. And the funny thing is, they probably put these spiders in the game as, like, a tutorial thing. Like, yeah, here's some easy enemies for you to get through at the beginning of the game, get used to the controls, and, like, you're gonna go through the whole game, and it's like, at least it's not spiders. <laughs> so, right now, I'm wondering if this game is, like, done by cha through chapter. Ah, blue guidey lights. Scanning dudes. Scanning time particles. I say again, Pilgrim. Pilgrim, can you read me? This is Dr. Tyson and Dr. Moon. Come back. The signal needs more power. Even without the dust storm. They got to have more power. Her sprite looks cuter than her direction. little selfie cam does. Over there. Could be another survivor. How far? I'm gonna say Where that the camera be? adds 10 pounds, you know. Maybe we should stay put. <laughs> Actually, the other way, she looked kind of like extra thin and kind of gaunt in the little selfie camera. <laughs> also, hey, here. check it out. Survivors I checked that I'm taller than finally. Okay. What are you talking about? That happens all the time with your like six foot four self. Oh, yeah, of course. There's... I mean, the world doesn't have to know your actual height. <laughs> Stand on boxes like Rosanna Pancino. Alright, so now where are we going? Was, were those eggs that you shot? I don't know, but just in case they are, <laughs> let's just let's just be safe. Better safe than sorry. Popping each one I see now. Maybe earlier when I said these things look like spores, maybe they're spider eggs. Yeah, that that's an entire possibility considering the amount of spiders that are. Oh, oh Jesus no. Christ! Oh no! Why a bioluminescent underdark? This seems like the kind of dark place a spider would. Yes. What the heck is going sure on? Log all this. 
Okay, that's kind of pretty. <laughs> I love that anytime he sees anything interesting, he's just like, look at this shit. Are you seeing this computer? Okay, so it looks pretty now that I know they're not spider eggs. Like, at first <laughs> I thought you came across the spider egg so nest. I thought so too. <laughs> yeah, pretty. Very, very, very pretty. I'm not going to lie. When I thought there were spider eggs and we came in this cave, my butthole puckered up a little bit. <laughs> how'd, how'd the cave look in VR, man? That looked, that looked gorgeous. It was gorgeous. It was actually quite a breathtaking view. Probably would have appreciated more if I weren't waiting for spiders to jump at my face. <laughs> it's like, yeah, pretty, pretty. But am I going to have to shoot some spiders, though? That's the, that's the question. Oh, Jesus Christ. Was, is that... Wait, that was a spider? No, that looks like a big old spider. <laughs> What? Why do spiders evolve to shoot acid out of their butt? Why is that an evolutionary trait? And why are they taking so many shots to go down? Uh, well, you have it the bullets for us, so yeah. it, It's shooting air bullets. <laughs> <laughs> or in Call of Duty, uh, Call of Duty style, it's shooting milk. <laughs> like, if it's infinite ammo, like, where do the bullets come from? Oh, dear lord. At least it hasn't jumped at your face yet. See this? I can handle them shooting stuff because that means they're going to stay back. As long as they stay back and don't get up in my face, I'm okay. And at least these big ones you can see from a mile away. Because they're not popping up out of the woodwork. So guys, in the game that I play, you know, the tabletop game Warhammer 40k, there is a giant insect race kind of called uh, Pyramids. Um... Much like uh, the movie Starship Troopers. That's kind of what I'm imagining when I'm shooting this stuff. Um, I hope there are just no spiders in the Tyranid army. Cause, you know, that yeah, that would, would be pretty terrible. And that, yeah. That's how people know that how they would win against you. That's how they beat you. They bring a spider army. And not because their army is necessarily strong. It's just they know you're not going to want to mess with them. Over the ammo, to pick it up. ammo? Rocket, Rocket ammo? For real though? For real, for real. A guided rocket with a targeting laser. Rocket launcher is going to be. Use the targeting laser to guide guys. the rockets to the designated target. The UED well, how much? How much do you guys want to bet those spiders going to jump at his face? He's going to accidentally fire a rocket at it. I have a feeling. I'm hooked on a feeling right now. Uh, 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 I wonder how better this game would be if you were listening to the Guardians of the Galaxy soundtrack while you were doing this. How much less scary would the spiders be? I can these guys all day. They stay back there. I'll stay over here. I think it's wanting you to shoot a rocket at something, bro. It's, it's uh, kind of harassing you. Hmm? It's kind of harassing you to like use a rocket on them, bro. <laughs> it's like asked you five times. <laughs> like, okay, okay, computer, chill out, chill out. It really just wanted to see a rocket. It was exciting. Oh, good lord. Yeah. You got okay. hit, hit the one time, but you're doing pretty well at, like, dodging those things. Oh, god. Now they're mixing it up on you. Y'all keep up in the distance. You killed Billy. Billy was my youngest. I loved him. Are there any more? <laughs> Y'all can throw as many of them as you want at me, as long as you keep them over there. <laughs> so yeah, I could see, like, physically Mitha's freezing up on the commentary, because he's like, are there any more spiders? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> now, I wonder if those are as big as they get, or if those are, like, the teenage spiders. Yes, those are as big as they get. <laughs> Like, I'm expecting a Thresher Maw type spider to just pop up out of the sand. What's the dramatic music, man? Oh! Oh, God. Does anybody else find it amusing that the butt grows whenever it's about to spit acid at you? Like, it swells up for just a second. It got that booty booty. It got that booty booty. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> So you're saying it's a spider that can twerk me to death? Yes. 
Uh, 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 <laughs> it just wants to love me. It can love me from over there. <laughs> With bullets. Distant admiration spider. Sent by notice me. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I almost want somebody to draw. <laughs> <laughs> All the other ones want to jump at your face and you have the one behind the rock that's like putting its fingers yep. together. <laughs> Ugu. <laughs> I wonder if if Mythos Senpai will notice me. Oh god, like he's going to a dark cave too. New holographic files are available to view. Playback. All recovered files. <laughs> Let's look at the past. Was it the end of the first stage? Oh no, you're okay. You're loading some stuff. It's POV cam, Moon Grant. Wow. Oh, okay, I'm the doctor. Oh, the aptly named doctor. No. Oh, you're switching point of views. No, but it's a piece of it. Must have broken off from the main station on entry. I guess we found a power source. I am source. the unarmed doctor. Well. Hello? Anyone inside? Really? <laughs> Oh, I guess it worked. Come on. So are you going to be switching point of views between these three characters throughout the game, I wonder? Well, it looks like I'm switching back. Oh, okay. So it looks like they found some... No? That now they're pretty. inside? Oh. But it's sheltered. Battery packs. We strip off the casings. We can use these to boost our signal. You prep them. I'll patch into the comms unit. Well, if only they knew there were spiders on this planet, right? Well, they just seem to be going about their work all happy and cheery. <laughs> it's funny if, if somebody else knew whoever they were trying to contact, and they're like, please help us. They're like, nah, fam. Nah, fam. We, we've seen what's on that planet. We've been getting reports from this guy named Mythos on the planet that there are spiders, <laughs> but we ain't going near shit. <laughs> they're all at 1% power. That's plenty. 1% is enough for six months. Yeah, but why huh, are they all... Very energy efficient. Hello? Sounds like interference. Hello? Hello? There's probably a shit ton of EMR out here. So how do we contact anyone? Looks like they're trying to reach out and touch them. Just keep moving. I just love how their experience on this planet is vastly different from my experience. Right? They've taken off their armor. They're like kicking back, rebuilding stuff. All this death and destruction going on around them, they have no idea. Come back. Pilgrim, if you can read us, we don't know our location. We're down to our last emergency rations, but we found a HAB unit. Oh, y'all worried about rations and shit. She's got some very bony, spindly fingers. Who are you? Like, she's hungry. She might be. She's looking for some rations. You need to take a break. She looks like she's been hungry for a while. <laughs> Here. It's the last one from my soup. Some kind of strawberry goo. Here, take it since you bitchin'. Sorry. I mean, I was gonna eat that, but you wanted to be complaining and shit. So here you go. <laughs> now that's it. What do you mean? When the pilgrim broke up on entry, it left a trail of debris just like this, right? We found one piece because we're sitting in it. <coughs> but if we can find the next few pieces, we can calculate the speed and trajectory of the station. We can figure out where the Pilgrim crashed. So it looks like they're gonna see You sure up. about this? Not very, but it's all we got. I'm gonna follow the trail of debris. You keep trying the radio. And make sure you keep Let's split up, gang! Okay, so Are we expecting company? Like she's got a gun like mine. So maybe we can expect that we'll be playing as her at some point. That'd be cute. Alright, jumping right into it. Do you have the same kind of gun, you think? Maybe. So am I Wander or am I her right now? Okay, Eva. It looks like... I'm right behind you. Dr. Tyson, if you can hear this, I'm following the trail of debris. Okay, sounds like I'm the wanderer again. 
Alright, two. Oh, yep. Oh, <laughs> shit. Look at what kind of day I'm having. More, sp more spiders. Stop! How did you just... I mean, that doesn't even make any sense. It just ricocheted from one rock to the other. At my face! <laughs> Making spiders defying physics, yo. <laughs> spider butt, spider butt. Better watch out for that spider butt. It's interesting that you've gone through what seems like a chapter so far, and they're th they've been throwing the exact same kinds of enemies at you. Literally two models of enemies they've thrown at you so far. Really like mixing it up, I see in this game. <laughs> little spiders and big spiders, and little spiders. And more little spiders, and oh wait, some big spiders too. Oh, you got a trophy of some sort. I wonder what that was. Well, we'll figure it out later. Maybe it's for shooting so many damn spiders. I feel like I didn't kill as many as I saw skittering around. Oh, Jesus. The way they leap at you kind of reminds me of the face huggers from, um, from Half-Life. Oh, the, the head crabs. I thought you were going to say the face huggers from Alien. Oh, aliens. Aliens. And I definitely don't want to be that <laughs> Well, I think that the, the head crabs from Half-Life 2 are actually worse. Since, you know, they not only mouth rape you, but they, like, take over your whole nervous system and become your new head. Oh. Well. They, like, graft themselves onto your spine and stuff. It's awesome. That seems... You become a zombie unable to control your body, but you can still feel pain and scream. Oh. Oh, shit. Okay. Touche. That was well placed. <laughs> Ooh. I have a feeling I know what the third enemy pack is going to be. An even bigger spider. This game no. was made specific and... Guys, I know it feels like I set Mythos up for this, but I did not know that spiders were the main enemy in this game. Or seemingly, so far. So completely unplanned, but it's hilarious. Y'all saw bouncing and shit? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> they like not, fam. <laughs> Good job. Nailed it. Nailed it. <laughs> We're gonna send this guy off to the military after this gameplay. Send me a favor and share this video with the US military and let them know that they have a new soldier that's gonna be up and coming. As long as they send me somewhere I gotta deal with spiders, I'm good. <laughs> Oh, now they're going to make you walk down that narrow-ass path. It's fine. I'll, I'll walk the narrow path. But what if spiders jumped out of shit? Word? Word fam? Yes. Suit status. Suit integrity is stable. You good. You good. Okay, but what knocked those rocks down? Alert. Um. To assist holographic file recovery, please locate and scan all fragments. <laughs> Scan all okay. time molecules. Okay, that looks different than mine. Ah. What is it? There's equipment. It looks like she got a shotgun of some kind. Ooh. And I'm just putting my nose right against the uh, holographic There's edge of it. Shotguns, ammo. Oh, yeah, that's what she just said. Shotguns, ammo. It's gonna be good, good if uh, Mythos is able to get the, to a shotgun because shotguns are his jam. No, we're not I do love some shotguns. We find the pilgrim and we get out of here. I think it would be more comfortable with spider jumping at his face if he could just shoot a shotgun shell at it. Aha! Uh -huh, new gun! Nice! I'm glad we managed to fit that in this episode. It would be cool if we found a new, you know, enemy type for this episode. That'd be cool. Shotgun provides maximum stopping power at close range. It features semi-automatic fire with a seven round capacity and an integrated grenade launcher. And a grenade launcher? Nice. <laughs> Just don't grenade any spiders swimming in your face. I think that'd be bad for your health. And over your shoulder to switch weapons. Okay. Oh, that's cool. To reload. You might say that's neato burrito. 
You might say that's awesome, me possum. Oh, oh shit! I I knew it. I knew it. Uh, bigger spiders. It seems like he doesn't like the shotgun very much. Oh shit! <laughs> Ahem. I wasn't worried for a uh, microsecond. I don't want to fall to pieces. <laughs> hey. So this is ammo driven, right? This is an infinite ammo like mine. Yeah, this has a seven round capacity? I don't know if you need to pick up ammo or you just need to do that much before you reload or what. Hmm. So... <laughs> yeah, See? A little bit more comfortable with uh, spiders living in the space of the shotgun. So it looks like instead of it overheating, he has to wait for shells to re to uh, respawn in his clip. Okay, so this is a Call of Duty. I can't snipe with my shotguns. Oh shit! Oh. I see they were hip to my shenanigans. <laughs> They're like watch Skype from around the rock. Get up on it! Take shotgun shell to the face! Ugh. I'm probably <laughs> dripping with juice. <laughs> Why am I dripping with goo? Are you gonna get hurt if you get splashed by that whenever they explode, I wonder? Probably. I mean, it seems like a very video game thing to do. Okay, what's this cool stuff? <clears throat> well, it said the temperature was increasing, so I'm guessing like lava. Oh, like blue lava. See, I would be probably the idiot to like touch some of this so, stuff. So, ooh, what's this? And like, the hand melts off. Oh. That looks like it's probably pretty gorgeous in VR. I mean, it would be if you didn't have to worry about a, a spider army. Like, wolf's caverns right here. Jeez. <laughs> that bush right there gave me a heart attack. <laughs> I thought, oh. That's <laughs> also what he said. So, you know. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh. Ow. He's trying to get up on him with the shotgun. I mean, for those, maybe it's better to use the assault rifle, I'm just saying. Your, your milk bullets. Oh, lordy. So we're about 40 minutes in right now, and so far you haven't encountered, like, a boss. Kind of surprised. Yeah, I thought that big guy was going to be a boss just a second ago. Nah, fam, you killed him like two, three shots. What is this? Uh, nothing. nothing that's useful to you, I guess. <laughs> nope. Get that shotgun. Yeah, it's not down for that shotgun shit, bro. <laughs> Is it like doing the hoof on the ground thing like a freaking bull? Jesus. I'm so glad it's too dark for me to really see those guys coming flying on my face. <laughs> Is oh. that better or worse? Ah! <laughs> oh shit! Oh, oh no! Did you, but did you die? But did you, you die? die? <laughs> oh. Oh, and we're back! How far back did it send you? Grenade ammo. Oh, that's what that is! You were just full of on grenade ammo earlier. Or maybe you didn't have the right weapon out? I don't know. The shotgun has an integrated grenade launcher. The high explosive grenades explode three seconds after being fired, or instantly if they hit an enemy. The UEP oh, cool, so. shotgun can hold a total of ten grenades. So if you miss, it's not necessarily the end of the world because it can still blow up in three seconds. Oh, <laughs> Every time. Alright. Let's get all Halo up on this bitch. Boom! Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I don't know, you can't see those little guys in the dark. I mean, just knowing they could be creeping all around you is just... Ugh! <laughs> So this looks kind of more bomb. Hello 
darkness, my old friend. Oh, oh shit! Uh, <laughs> pro tip, guys, don't use the grenade when it's in your face. Didn't I say at some point that was going to happen? <laughs> oh, it wasn't a spider, a little spider jumping in his face, luckily, but. You said that about rockets. Grenades are different. Oh, gotcha, my bad. You're right, you're right. You got him. Oh, he's, he's still alive! He's still alive! Oh, crap! Yeah, he seems definitely a bit hardier than the other one. Oh, shice! He's coming after you! No, he ain't. No, he ain't. Oh! <laughs> Oh. oh god, I think he's dead, bro. Oh god! Oh. <laughs> oh. It's the little ones you gotta worry about. Is there, is there another one of the same guys? That would be an unfair. <laughs> Just consider this whole video training. How many face your fears? Oh, dude! I didn't even see that. <laughs> Gotta face him directly. Okay. Oh, oh. Hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> Dead fam. Dead. Okay, so the worst part of that. Uh, was after I was dead, I still had to feel. <laughs> the giant guy on top of my face piece. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and end the video here. What do you think about Far Cry VR, Mythos? Really, really exciting. I, the gunplay is pretty, feels real smooth and natural, like I'm using an arcade gun controller. Nice. Um, the immersion of the VR, when something is flying at your face, it really is flying at your face. Real good immersion factor. The game was just gorgeous. The, the graphics are fantastic. I cannot wait to get into this game myself, guys, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, please do me a favor and check out Little Brother Mythos' channel, Frost and Fists. And if you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up button down below. It really and truly means more to us than you guys know. Awesome. Do me a favor and drop some comments, too. We love hearing from you guys. We love chatting with you guys. It really and truly makes our day. And if you haven't that subscribe button yet, you guys know that I'd love to have you guys as a member of the Darklight family. I hope that we'll continue this YouTube journey together again very, very soon. Until next time, guys. May your dreams light your darkest hour, and I'll see you next time.